Well, hey there. Today is fun. I've got a story to tell you. Uh, it's about a piano. A hundred-year-old Steinway upright K. I'm in the boot. There it is. I got the boot. Going to look for a piano this morning. Very excited. I think I might have found one. Let's go see. What happened was uh, Dodi and I played it and it was just fun. It was the one. It was the one, the one, the one. And then I had my friend Bill Corey, our piano tech for Blue Rock for our entire history. Bill has been so good to us and our piano uh, back in the studio, the Yamaha Grand. So Bill and the uh, guy that owns the piano shop in South Austin, Brian, met me at the store and uh, got to play it there and the next morning they put it on a on a truck trailer and brought it down well all right we bought us a piano it's pretty and i am back at blue rock they will deliver that thing in the morning at about 8 30 here they come baby Nicely done. Impressive. Oh man, this is uh, this is beautiful. See it? So, it began its life in the Roaring Twenties. Imagine that. And it's gonna be roaring at Blue Rock. Today, what we're gonna do is hear it. Uh, we're gonna learn to see just how we love to mic it. And then uh, we'll go back to the control room and listen. So, uh, glad you're with us. Let's do it. Okay, so Sarah, this is Sarah. So, uh, Sarah, I think the way that this might work the best is simply to open up the top. Uh, I think a couple of ribbon mics uh, would do us great. Um, and either we can prop this open if we really want to get, you know, in, in, or we can come straight up through the top next to the soundboard. A lot of times we might try micing it from the back, just right off of the back of the soundboard. Um, so, but I think we'll start up top. Maiden Voyage. I love it. Good. I think that was beautiful. Let's try it from the soundboard.
It sounds smaller. It sounds a lot more folk, you know, a lot more uh, sort of manageable in the mix, maybe. Yeah. Um, this would be a lovely way to mic it in an ensemble, I think. For sure. Those uh, Royer ribbons have a lot of proximity, you know, that, that big uh, 300 hertz thing. Yeah. Um, when you let it. So I might actually pull them, mic it from the top, but pull them away a little bit. I love how this piano wants to play. It just already wants to. Okay, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do, the intrepid Sarah Garber, Randolph, and <laughs> me, are uh, is some kind of a mix between the two. We've got a beautiful solo sound, I think. And if we want to create that presence that we kind of miss on this uh, soundboard option, let's go... Uh, back to the top, and let's give it another six inches. Up right there. Yay. It's a lot more present than it was from the soundboard, and it doesn't have the weight right. that it did, but it also doesn't have the romance, you know, the warmth. So what we did today was mic that piano for the very first time, uh, at least in its Blue Rock life. Um, and incredible to imagine where it's been in the rest of its lifetime. I wish we could tell. But right now we get to wonder and mystify ourselves with uh, the story of this piano. Um, but I think its function will be to uh, be wherever we need it, um, for any for any of the uh, opportunities that it seems to uh, to meet um, and inspire, I mean, I think um, part of it is like a lot of the instruments here. You don't know you want it till you know, um, and just having it be close by, and definitely for the concert series, I think it will inspire opportunities. It it's doing that for me right now. Um, we need a name for it, right? Right. Anybody want to lobby for a name? Uh, yeah, it'd be fun.